Welcome back, friends. I uh, wanted to cover a video for you today on a uh, sprayer that I had bought a couple weeks back. It's the same brand um, that I uh, purchased as well for my uh, aerator cedar combo, which is the uh, Brindley Hardy brand. So I'm going to put a link in the video description uh, for this uh, product as well so you can see some of the uh, specs and things that I might fail to uh, cover. Obviously, I've already used this thing. Um, it's already assembled, but I wanted to still go ahead and take the time to walk you through some of the steps that I did to uh, put this thing together. Uh, it comes in a big, large box, and everything's pretty much disassembled, so you got a decent amount of work to do on it. Um, but I wanted to walk you through some of the main parts of that. Um, and then I also have some uh, footage of the actual um, sprayer in action. And uh, when I rolled back that footage, I have to say I was I, I was really surprised, but very pleased on how well this 15-gallon uh, uh, sprayer actually sprays. Again, we have about three acres of land out here, so I needed something that was big enough, uh, but not something that was huge. Um, I was uh, uh, looking at some of the bigger ones, like the 40-gallon uh, sprayer, a little bit out of my price point, and I thought maybe it was a little bit too much to have, given that we don't have a ton of land. So I'm pretty happy with the uh, 15 gallon um, tank. So let's go ahead and go over on how I assembled this thing. And then I'll show you some footage of the actual um, spray pattern. Okay, so here is the sprayer once again. Uh, this is the same brand as you can see here uh, as the uh, Air Raider uh, Cedar combo that I had purchased a few weeks back. I'm really starting to fall in love with this brand. It just seems like the things work as they say they will work, actually, which is kind of nice. So this is it right here. Uh, this is a 15-gallon sprayer. Again, uh, it's proven to be plenty for my approximately uh, three acres that I have. And so what I want to do here is I'm just going to kind of explain to you what I had to put together here on it. So everything was pretty much disassembled right everything came in a big box and it was kind of up to me to put it all together so definitely more work than the uh, aerator cedar combo that I bought uh, and so let's go ahead and get started here so what I had to do here let's go ahead and get down here um, this is the uh, main attachment as far as the uh, brackets right here so when you put this thing together I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over for you When you put this thing together, you're going to have to uh, basically flip the tank over and those brackets are just going to fit. There's a pre-drilled holes in the actual tank and these brackets will just go right down in there. You see the screws in there right here. There's another one. So yeah, so those are pre-drilled pre holes in the actual tank. And so it came with a nice instruction book, uh, booklet as well. I don't know, it might have took me an hour to put this together and, it, and that was mainly the time it takes to uh, put the hoses on. That takes a little time. So that this part here is easy, the brackets, okay? Uh, the wheels, the same thing here. Just a couple bolts, a dragon ring there. And so you're gonna have to put the wheels, those uh, fasten on right here, as you can see, onto the bracket, okay? Let me go ahead and flip it back over again. And then here, these are the actual uh, spray arms. So you'll have to actually put these on here, kind of a double tightening mechanism here. Sorry, it's a little dirty, I was just using it right here again. Um, here is where your actual nozzles go, okay? So there's a little bit of a technique in here. There's a, there's a filter back here and things like that. These are the actual nozzles here. Here's the other one. And so these kind of spray down, but then kind of outward as well. And on, in the uh, booklet, it said that it gets an effective 72 inch spray pattern. There's kind of an overlapping effect there, okay? So that's where your uh, water or, or any, any uh, type of solution that you have, that's where that's gonna be uh, coming out of. Um, here, here, um, 
you can take this off and drain out any water or product that you don't use. And I suggest doing that. You don't want to leave anything in this tank for too long. Moving forward, this was the most probably complex part. You know, after you put on the brackets, put on the wheels, what's pretty much left here um, is putting on the electric pump here, okay? And then fastening all these hoses, okay? So the thing that took me the longest amount of time um, was to actually get this hose down in this hole right here, okay? So what you basically have to do is you have to, basically, you won't have this cap on here. And you'll kind of go down through the cap and then bring this up again. That's how they have you do it. And so, yes, this is the hose. And so what I did to kind of help myself where there is I just kind of got like some warm uh, soapy water just just to kind of make this you know more uh, viscous to to kind of go down into this hole and it took me a minute you know it's it, it, it this is a very tight fit on purpose so that kind of took me a second to get but then the rest of these you know the hoses basically they all connect to the pump here um, and then they connect to the other hoses here so I think you get like four different size hoses they all have the same type of connection as you can see here, right? Just these clamps right here. So get yourself a really good pair of pliers. You're going to need it um, and really squeeze the heck out of those things. So that's, that's really it. It's, it's just hoses and clamps. Um, and then, it, then you'll have this uh, piece right here that comes with it. So you can basically hook that up to each other. There's the nozzles right here that kind of control the action here. Um, and then here, You'll have another hose that actually clamps on to this wand right here, okay? So there's that wand. I have not used the wand yet. I'll probably end up using that out in our garden. Uh, but like I say, I have used the sprayer, which I'll show you some footage of that here in a little bit. And then um, I don't have this wrapped really good right now, but as you can see uh, right here, you know, there's some grooves and things for you to be able to wrap the hose underneath and then ultimately wrap this hose all the way around the um, tank here. Here's another groove right here. So it's a pretty nice little setup. Um, the pump itself is real, real, real easy to put on the pump. As you can see, four screws, two and two. And then uh, here's the electrical, electrical connector, okay? There's the electrical connector. Um, so ultimately, this will hook on uh, to the connector that you will install on the battery um, of your lawn tractor or whatever you're using. And I'll show you that here in a second too. Lastly here, then this thing, super easy. Um, you'll end up fastening, let me get in here for you. You'll end up fastening this hitch to the bottom of the tank here as well. And again, it's all in the instruction booklet. I'm just trying to give you guys some additional advice. And so there's the hitch. Cotter pin, very standard thing here. So then that'll end up going on the uh, uh, hitch of your uh, lawn tractor or whatever you're using. And so that's about it. Not real complicated, just follow the instructions, take your time with it. The hoses can be a little bit of a son of a gun. But I love this thing so far. Um, one thing I'll mention before we look at the harness attachment on the actual uh, tractor is, let me kind of flip this back over for you guys again. Uh, I wanted to make a note about these nozzles. So I'm really heavy handed, okay? And I actually broke one of these over tightening it. These are plastic. And so I actually had to, um, again, the other, there's one over there. I forget which one, but I had broke one of these and I had to order, I think it was 10 bucks online. I had to, I had to order me a little set of, of these actual pl plastic uh, nuts here, but then it also came with these additional nozzles, okay? It was like 10 bucks, so don't, don't do that. Be really gentle with these right here, because like I said, I actually broke one of those. The only other thing about this too is um, I have really uh, hilly, bumpy, uh, land out here okay and these right here are great 
but I noticed that I had to keep a half inch wrench on me at all times because there was a couple times I had to stop, I had to stop the tractor and uh, I had to tighten these up a little bit, okay? Um, it wasn't terrible, but these can get a little bit loose. Um, and you want to make sure that, you know, that they're even on each side, you know. Um, I think I probably have these maybe about 18 to 20 inches off the ground, but I try to keep them as level as I could. But again, keep a half inch uh, uh, wrench on you or something, just in case you have to get off your vehicle of choice and tighten this up. But I only had to do that twice which wasn't bad. And I have, like I said, really hilly, bumpy land over th three acres. So for me to have to get off my tractor twice and tighten those was not a real big deal, right? Okay, so let me go ahead and show you uh, how I fasten the harness onto the battery of the tractor to enable us to actually hook up this pump right here, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so... Here is the part of the uh, harness attachment. Let me kind of get, get uh, some of this out of the way for you. I'm gonna give you some advice on this too. Okay, so here's the harness attachment part. This was really, really easy to do. So here's the, here's the connector as part of the harness system. All you have to do is you have two leads here, right? And so basically, you just have to screw this within the uh, positive uh, terminal, and then, and then the other side here, here it is, uh, will be going on the negative terminal here. So that's all you're doing, is you're just connecting the two leads from here to here. And then this big harness here, it's really long, as you can see. Um, it's, really, it's really long, as you can see. I'd say it's about six feet long. And then there's the other side of it, right? So there's the other side of the connector. And that's what will um, connect to the other side of the connection on your uh, electric pump, okay? And then here's the actual switch. Switching uh, mechanism right there. So to turn the pump on, you'll just flip this on here. And you'll start hearing the pump, you know. It's, it's not super loud, but it's, you'll definitely know it's on. Um, and then a word of advice, so again, this, th this was really easy to put on, but a word of advice, a lot of people will complain about this harness getting caught up maybe like in the rear wheels here and things like that. I had no problem with this. What I do is, is I simply, when I'm, when I have the seat down here, okay, when I have the seat down here, I take up all the slack of this, okay, so it's just not hanging down. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure why anybody would just let this hang down. And But people were complaining about it in the reviews. So don't let this hang down, you know what I mean? Wrap this maybe around the seat or, or something, maybe even tape it down with like some, you know, black electrical tape. I wrap mine around the bottom of the seat, okay? I'll make sure that I'm not squashing any, any uh, wires or anything. And then I literally just hold this in my lap this, this is just kind of sitting in my lap okay so that way it's not dragging and then also i can turn this pump off whenever i want so i'm not so i'm not wasting in, any of the solution that i have in my uh sprayer so that's just kind of a word of advice if you go on you might see some people kind of complaining about this getting caught up in the tires and stuff but again i don't know why they would have a problem with that if you if you take out the slack and just not leave this hanging right um but but they were talking about how i can get caught up in like the rear tire here or it could maybe even get caught up in the in the tires of the pump but again just take up the slack here maybe have this sitting off to your side or in your lap and then it makes it real easy just to turn this sucker off and on okay so i wanted to point that out to you guys okay so that's pretty much it for the actual uh assembly uh of the uh sprayer so as promised before i just wanted to show you a little bit of footage uh, so you can see how this thing actually sprays. It's actually pretty nice and I'm one of those people, you know, when it's something new, I, you know, I, I found myself constantly looking back at it, you know, just to make sure that the uh, spray pattern was consistent or it wasn't, you know, turning off and things like that. And so again, I was uh, pretty pleased by that. But go ahead and uh, watch this short little footage here so you guys can see how this thing actually sprays.
Well, that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, I hope you all uh, really got something out of this one. Maybe you're considering uh, buying some sort of a sprayer or not. But again, this is a brand that uh, I really like a lot. And again, uh, this is the 15-gallon uh, model. So listen, thanks for tuning in today. If it's your first time uh, visiting uh, Escape from City Life, uh, please think about uh, subscribing. Uh, give us a like on the channel and feel free to leave any comments and share us with your friends and family. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm.